Welcome to Web Application Security. Learn about web applications and explore some of their common security issues. Task 1. A web application is like a program that we can use without installation as long as we have a modern standard web browser such as Firefox, Safari or Chrome. The idea of a web application is that it's a program running on a remote server. A server refers to a computer system running continuously to serve the client. Consider an online shopping application. The web application will read the data about the products and their details from a database server. The online shopping web application might need more than one database to access. For example, products database a customer's database and a sales database. We can already see the amount of information stored in any online shopping system. Suppose an attacker manages to exploit the web application and steal the customer's database. In the simplest version, the search will take four steps. The user enters an item name or related keywords in the search field. The web application queries the product. The product database returns the search results. The web application formats the results as a friendly web page. Great descriptive diagram. Make sure you understand how it works. Some companies offer bug bounty programs. Questions. What do you need to access a web application? That's pretty obvious. We read that. The answer is browser. Task 2. Web application security risks. Read through the supplied information. It's pretty straightforward. There's a few main categories of common attacks against web applications. The login at the website. The search for the product. And provided payment details. Identification and authentication failure. Identification refers to the ability to identify a user uniquely and authentication refers to the ability to prove that the user is who they claim to be. Broken access control. Access control ensures that each user can only access files related to their role or work. Failing to apply the principle of the least privilege and giving users more access permissions than they need are examples of vulnerabilities related to access control. Being able to view or modify someone else's account by using its unique identifier and being able to browse pages that require authentication as an unauthenticated user. Injection. An injection attack refers to the vulnerability. Cryptographic failures. The category refers to the failures related to cryptography. Cryptography focuses on the process of encryption and decryption of data. Sending sensitive data in clear text. Relying on weak cryptographic algorithms and using default or weak keys for cryptographic functions are all examples of cryptographic failures. And questions. You discovered that the login page allows an unlimited number of login attempts without trying to slow down the user or lock the account. What is the category that we saw? Identification and authentication failure. Copy and paste. You notice that the username and password are sent in clear text without encryption. What is the category? 
we read that at the bottom here cryptographic failures sending sensitive data in clear text answer cryptographic failures task 3 practical click view site this task investigates a vulnerable website using IDOR. IDOR falls under broken access control. IDORs occur when too much trust has been placed on input data. The web app doesn't validate whether the user has permissions to access the correct requested object. In database items, they would be assigned numbers sequentially. Example 51, 52 or 53. Right, if we have a look, we've clicked on view site, showing inventory management system, click on the planned shipments tab, we will notice things look a little messy, let's hack the system and undo the attacker's mess or steps. Click on the Your Activity to see the activity of one of the users. Number 11, Roddy. Check the other users to discover which user account was used to make the malicious changes and revert them. After reverting the changes, what is the flag you have received? The users. As you can see, the user ID is 11. Let's change this to 10 and hit enter. There we've got Anton. Let's change this to 9. There's a, a Leah, database administrator. That looks interesting. Number 8, 7, 6, nothing found. 5, nothing found. Let's go back to the beginning. 11. The one that looked interesting was number 9. A database administrator look files they revert I'm going to click on this it disappears let's revert all of them ah there's our flag the room is complete copy and paste thank you for watching